너는 혹시 알고 있니 항상 같은 자리에서 너와 눈이 마주치길 기다리고 있어 Okie dokie. So, we're gonna... We're gonna get the true ending for question question mark's name, which ended up being Sexto. And I didn't actually figure this out myself. I had to look on the guide to do it. So it said, click new game. Awesome. And it says Sexto, and yeah, so I have to remember his name, and it's Sexto. And then it said, forget the name. So, I forgot the name! Oh no! The name of your first doll will be thrown away. Would you like to continue? And yeah, warn me that's gonna do that, but... Yes. Shit, then what do I do? New game. I really hope this works. Otherwise, I'm just really messing up. Oops, don't type it in wrong. Yes, it worked! Woo! We did it, guys! Let's get this true ending, finally! And then, it is all done. I'm sorry for that. For a long time, I didn't move at all and stayed still. I don't remember since when. I looked at the same view at the wooden shelf. I stood still watching people pass by the shelves, people searching for something to catch their minds. I clearly remember the moment someone held me up. It was an old man with so many wrinkles. I didn't know why he chose me. Since I never thought someone would ever choose me. Oh, shit. Hold on. It's been a while. Hold on there. I think voices are on. Shit. No. Go down. Go away. You will be great. That was all I heard before he took me to the counter. And then I was put in a paper bag. I couldn't see anything in the bag, but I knew that I was being moved. Even while being moved for a long time, I wasn't curious of where I was going to end up. I knew that this would happen someday. Everyone at the store would have thought the same way. We thought that it was our fate to be picked up by a stranger one day and belonged to them. After a long time, I heard a little girl crying. Ah, so noisy. I was it was never this noisy at the store. Who the hell is crying so much? It's Tiny Me! Have you been okay in the house? Kids, oh my goodness! I don't know if it's Tiny Me or... Well, of course it's Tiny Me, because Grandpa's here. You were crying, weren't you, sweetie? I don't know, you tell me. Okay. Oh no, what's making you cry? Oh, you're drawn on the road. Okay, I'm sorry for making you wait too long, jeez. Calm down, girl. This won't do. I don't think you'll stop crying anytime soon. Since my little girl doesn't stop crying when she starts, how about this? I was taken out of a paper bag and put in front of a little girl. Wow! She was crying, but her face changed immediately. Right in front of her eyes, she smiled, and her face turned bright. It was the first time witnessing a human's expression up close. She changed her expression after looking at me, right? She changed after seeing me, right? The reason that annoying noise stopped is because she looked at me, right? Oh, it is. At that moment, I felt like I just made a huge accomplishment. It was the first time feeling that way. 
I never felt that when I was displayed at the, the store. Well, the little girl touched me, and she hugged me tight. I could feel her. My cottons were pressed by her arms. It's so fluffy! Can I hug it like this? Of course. I don't know what was so amazing to her, but she stood still for a while, holding me in her arms. She kept on pressing me with her arms, saying it's so fluffy, so happy, and things like that. I think I've made her change. I feel strange. I was born to make humans happy. That is the truth. I realized it from the first time. It's your first doll. My first doll. Give it a name. I didn't want to name it Sex Doll, which sucks so bad. I named it Buck Butt Plug. A name. You'll get close to it if you give it a name. And more than anything else, since it's your first doll friend. Okay. A name. What should I call it? Why don't you think about it? Yes, I'll just name it after myself. It's Sexto Jr. I bet you get a fantastic name. Sexto. Okay. A name. What should I call it? Oh! Sexto! That's perfect! Yes, I'll name it after myself. I was given a name the first time we met. I didn't want to name it after myself. God damn it. You know, Sexto. Why do you think... I think mom and dad are always so busy. It's just, it just sounds like she's talking to herself now. <laughs> this girl is actually pretty annoying. <laughs> Things because she only has humans she calls grandpa who looks over her. But that grandpa leaves the house often so she's usually with me. She wants to share everything with me. She never leaves me from her moments. She wakes up to the moment she goes to bed. Gets in bed. I don't really think she has friends. Did I say- Did I say fiends? I said fiends. Okie dokie! I don't think there's a child in the neighborhood she lives in. Sorry, what did I- I don't think there are children in the neighborhood she lives in. Wow, what is wrong with me tonight? But they're all hiding behind those high fences. I miss mommy. It hasn't even been a month since they left, but... When are they coming to see me? Dad said he'd let me go to kindergarten in three months. Will they come in the entrance ceremony? <clears throat> the little girl talked about her parents. I don't think she can come up with an answer for why her parents never come to see her. What kind of humans are her parents? I'm curious. What do they do after leaving her behind? I can never know. Oh, let me show you the dress mom bought me. I told her I don't really like dress, but she still bought me one because she doesn't listen. Sucks though if you... I'm just going to call it Butt Plug because that's the name I gave that thing. You can look at the first episode. I named it Butt Plug. Ears itch. Hold on. Yeah. If you like it, I'll give it to you. Oh god. Does she think that I'll be able to wear a human dress? She is indeed a little girl. She's so stupid. You are the nicest doll I've ever met. Nicest bastard. Now let's have a tea party. Tea parties. She lined up. Oh, that hurt. She lined up plastic cups and said. I was wondering what she'd do today. She took out the tea bags and brought from, she brought from the kitchen, and she held up, she held up, and she held up plastic, a plastic teapot and poured water into the cup. Here, have some green tea. Oh my gosh, it's like Ty's favorite. She looked excited the way she kept grinning. Thanks to that, she kept spilling water, but she seemed to enjoy herself anyways. Here are the cookies and pretty spoons. As her grandpa did this morning, she put the tea bag into the water. Him. She puts a cup in front of me, and she makes another cup and puts it in front of herself. Well. She exaggerated, exa exaggeratedly. She exaggerated. I can't. Takes a sip. Take a sip of the tea. The girl yelled at me. I can't move since I'm a doll. She reached out her arms to me. She took the cup and starts pouring green tea on my sewed mouth. The cotton soaks up the water. Why can't you drink? I think the girl's confused. She's so stupid. Nicest doll I've ever met. Nicest. Love you too. The fool eyes is safe. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that but that totally beat me as a mom. Oh god. Her mom, who came to her house for a change, looked troubled. We have to hurry and wash it when it's covered in green tea or I'll have stains. I wanna hold it. You know, throw the girl in the washer with the doll. 
Problem solved. You can hold on to it after it's washed and cleaned. Well, just tired of crying. The other girl doesn't like to let me go. Then she shouldn't have poured a green tea on me in the first place. You really don't like her, jeez. Her parents are more normal than she. They aren't that different from the people I used to see at the store. People caught in their busy, caught up in their busy lives and somehow trying to make up, up to their kids. Her parents are no different. Oh, her are doing well without us. Yesterday, she poured green tea all over the doll he bought for her. Yes, probably the little girl had her mouth closed. I was washed and dried under the sun. Take up of the sun for an afternoon and went back to the girl's arms. We have to go back tomorrow. You're gonna be okay with your grandpa. Yeah. Would it matter if I said no? You gotta love when you're kicked out of the game. She didn't answer and just stared at the person she calls dad. I knew. That she wanted these two people to come to her kindergarten entrance ceremony that happened a couple days ago. And I knew that she was very upset when some kid teased her about having her grandpa come instead of her parents. She ended up sitting still in the front of the house watching the sun set that day, mumbling mom and dad. I knew everything. That she couldn't handle loneliness easily. And she whined a lot. That was pretty stupid. <laughs> that was pretty stupid. I knew everything so well. Oh, it's this little bitchy neighbor kid. It can just be Spot stayed toy since it's so tacky. Who names their dog Spot nowadays? I mean, seriously. I named my cat Spot, but not a dog. No! It was the first time some creature other than the little girl harassed me. It bends my neck with its sharp teeth and all drooling. The furry creature must have had fun doing it. I stuttered. Person called Grandpa was pretty patient. No, actually, he was much more patient than the little girl. Since he has been sewing my neck together for more than two hours now. It looked horrible with the cotton peeping out of my neck, but I was almost fully recovered now. I thought he was pretty incredible for restoring my shredded body. I'm always thankful for being by here. Please stay that way all the time. He did before, but this grandpa was always giving me a huge burden. I mean, he doesn't really have to say that. Not like you have choice. It hasn't been that long since you entered kindergarten, but you're always writing. You're so smart. It's fun to write in my diary. Yes, write in your diary all the fun memories you have. Yes. The girl nodded. I... <laughs> oh, wow. What are you writing about now? This diary... The diary... <laughs> this diary will actually be a diary for Sexto and me. <laughs> Talking to herself. Just the two of us. I hate how the game messed up. Oh. So only us can see it. I see. It's a secret diary for just the two of you. A secret diary for <laughs> girl. I hate kids so much. <laughs> the girl is indeed stupid. I can't even see the diary, and she says just for the two of us. Today, Saturday, we got any swing. The little girl started to write in her diary every day. She's not the diligent type, but when she starts something, she always gives it her best. Done! I read it to you. She must have that I can't read the diary, so she reads it to me afterwards. Today is Saturday. The weather was clear. The dog had brown fur, and the clouds were fluffy. It's good that she reads me her diary, but I don't like it when she f focuses while writing. What? I woke up and saw a yellow flower by my bed. I think Grandma put it there as a joke. When she pours all her attention into a piece of paper, it's a, as if she's doing something very important. Something creeps up inside me. These days, Grandpa picks pretty flowers. The flowers must be hurt. That was a dark! That was dark! Look at the girl. She reads out loud what she wrote. And I think... Why don't my arms move? Because you're a doll. Tried making black tea in the morning. My doll sex that was with me. Why doesn't my heart beat... My doll Sexto and I think my doll friends like black tea more than green tea. I don't like tea at all. Why am I just a doll? It's a big ass TV, by the way. I miss mom and dad, but I can handle it because I have my doll Sexto. I think while looking at the girl, 
smile at me. Someday I'll be abandoned. So grew up and turned her attention to her diary, or other nude dolls. There's nothing I can do to stop that. Nothing. If she forgets me, what will, hap what will happen to the things written about me in the diary? Will they disappear too? For dinner I ate chicken spaghetti. Ew. Ew. The end. Ew. Chickens. I'm done reading. Key. The girl smiles and put down, puts down her diary. How many pages has she written already? Something creeps up inside me. Dark things start to fill me up. You and I can only see this diary. She shows me the diary in front of my eyes again. I feel both jealous and relieved that we are still together. I feel strange. I don't like the girl with her diary. I already know. She says it's our diary, but she's really writing it to show the diary to her parents. To show them how much she misses them. To let them know about her daily life. That's why she keeps a diary. There's one thing that worries me. And I can't get it out of my head. From what month and what day will my name stop appearing in that diary? This is deep. The next summer, her parents visit her again. Phew! <laughs> this traffic was awful! What time is your flight tomorrow? Seven in the morning, ew. We should just stay at a hotel next time. Guys! And the girl beam and ran, 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 and ran into their arms. She has her diary in her right hand. She always used to say that she showed it to her mom and dad. My girl's all grown up. Kids grow up fast these days. You have anything you need? Look at this. Look at it. What is it? A diary. Get the diary. She didn't even show it to her, that grandpa person. <laughs> but she must want her parents to see it. She told me it was for the two of us. I knew deep down that she kept the diary to eventually show it to her parents. I felt the shooting pain. You said it was a diary for just two of us. This line kept ringing inside my chest. But I always knew, didn't I? That I'm just a toy that she always, that she's always waiting for her parents. I'm just a toy to soothe her loneliness. You're a tool! You're a tool, man! I'm just a toy that, she'll, that will get thrown away one day. It was set from the start. It was set from the moment I stood still in the store, staring blankly at the people passing by. I am sold to someone, used by someone, and thrown out by someone. God, it's so deep. Makes me feel bad for all the toys I had. Oh, honey, you have a call. Yo. Person called dad. Uh, the person called dad stands up from his seat. Okay, I'll look at the diary later. I'll proofread it for grammar mistakes. Really? Oh, Professor. Uh, we should get ready to get out. I'll have dinner. We'll have dinner outside. Your grandpa can cook for us. Person called dad took his phone and headed into the front door. And that person called mom disappeared into the kitchen. The little girl, me, and the diary are left by ourselves in the living room. The little girl was trembling. And I feel sorry for her. Mm. She must want to cry, but she didn't. She didn't say anything. Turned around and found me. Sex though. <laughs> Damn it. And then she hugged me tighter than ever before. The tears falling from her eyes soaked my cotton. I thought at that moment, I'm glad her parents ignored her. For a while, she was one abandoned me. Sorry. Her parents came home after dinner and left the, left in a taxi, saying they're busy. Aren't you going to go inside? I'll be here for a little bit more. Alright, but if you stay here too long, I'll come and get you, okay? Okay. Even after her grandpa went to the house, the little girl stood still and watched her parents disappear, too. She ended up not showing them her diary. Is she thinking about how she always said I'm going to show my mom and dad the diary later? I can't really read her expressions. Shit. No, how do I get rid of the- oh, right. Ah, I keep forgetting. Ooh, transparency. Ooh. I'll promise. The little girl talked to me. You're such a cute little teddy bear. Look at you. Look at your little pigtails. Promise to me. Mom and Dad said they won't be coming for a year this time. It's on my arm. But I'll be fine since I have Grandpa and you. Grandpa and you won't disappear. Then it's fine. That's really weird. The thing is, I wasn't even looking at that while I read it. I was looking at the teddy bear's eyes. The little girl took a deep breath. Let's be together forever. Her eyes were serious. Forever? I don't trust words like that. I totally can't believe things like that. I'll never be apart from you. It's our promise. Her eyes were right in front of me. 
her young, bright eyes. Right now, there is no diary or her parents. It's just the girl and me. I feel familiar relief creeping up again. What is this feeling? It's love. I feel like I have all her all to myself. Jeez. We will be together forever. Uh, we will we'll be together forever. Even though I know that's a lie. Why? Even if someone else calls you tacky. What does those words make you feel so good? Even if I can only spell hot tea and make you dirty. Why am I so bothered by her saying those words out loud in a small voice? Even if you get ragged. Even if I get old. Since you're my first friend who promised to be on my side forever, you always have to be with me, okay? Are her words true? Can it be true? Can I believe her? You can't just leave like mom and dad, okay? Supergirl. There's no way I can leave. Unless you throw me away, I will always be in the same spot. I want to believe. I want to believe her. Okay, we'll believe her. The little girl, always by my side, ever since we met. She told me that, a, that I'm her first friend. She told me that we'd be together forever. Yeah, maybe. Let's trust this little girl. You're making a big mistake! She won't throw me away. She won't forget me. That diary is just for the two of us. Oh, that went downhill fast! <laughs> oh, I don't want to see this creepy guy again. No, don't make me. I'm turning on the transparency because it creeps me out. Uh, we're back here again. Shit! I believe that. I believed it. I believe so much that she never throw me away. Oh, the transparency isn't up only. The butts. I always keep clicking middle mouse button. Why? Dad? Surprise! Wow! <laughs> I just... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We had to stop by. We had to catch a plane tomorrow morning, but we missed you so much that we had to come. Yeah, sure you did. Dad, I missed you too. Got a major itch on my arm. Hold on. Okay. I'm glad Mom's at the restaurant already. Get ready, honey. Can the restaurant run away? Then Daddy can pick me up. And how much time? So hurry, go, go, go. There's special reason why I came here by myself. A reason? Here, take this. This is a new doll. The neighbor's dog tore up that one you had, so you need a new one. Hiccup. Why do you not like it? Something strange happened. Fucking hiccups. The little girl got a new doll. The fuck is that thing? What is this competitor we have here? What are you? How dare you? How dare you? Hold on, I can't yell at him properly. How dare you infiltrate? You have a little light patch that's so cute. How- what is this bullshit? Different patterns and- oh god. It's spitting everywhere. She played with me like she used to, but she started to glance at something else every once in a while. The new doll was more fluffy than I am and had a cooler ribbon. Who cares? It was three days after she held the new doll and said hi. Hey, me smug bastard. Hi! I'm Teddy the Teddy Bear! I don't know. Which part of me didn't she like? The eye patch. This stuff. I have too many to choose. I'm really dirty and have sewing marks. I'm even smaller than the new doll. It's not a doll, it's a teddy bear for Christ's sake. I have worse smell than the new doll. It's so fluffy. She said the same thing to the new doll, what she said to me when she first hugged me. Let's have a tea party! Yay, we can all be friends together. That day, there were three participants at the tea party. Shoop! Grandpa! As soon as she gets home from kindergarten, she takes off her bag and looks for her grandpa. Did something happen again? Oh, sweetie, what happened? What do I do? What do I do? Oh my goodness! Why don't you come down and explain? We're going to have a dance show at the kindergarten- at kindergarten- at the kindergarten. <laughs> and the boy who's my partner- the little girl blessed. It's strange. She never s I've never seen her make that face. <laughs> I think the boy likes me! You're in kindergarten! Okay, I know. I see. So we're starting rehearsal tomorrow and I have to wear a skirt to rehearse. 
I thought it was strange. The girl hasn't looked at me once. She was only so interested in something when she was writing in her diary. Should we go shopping today? Really? Let's go buy a pretty skirt for you. I don't really like skirts. Besides, I have a bunch Mom bought me. But you don't have one that you like, right? Yeah, to be honest. Then let's go out. Okay! I'm actually going out somewhere. The little girl held her grandpa's hand and went out the front door. Wait. What about me? When's she taking me? Wait! Wait! Take me with you! I felt angry for the first time. Something... wriggled and crept up inside of me. I started to hate the girl. She promised to be with me all the time. Grandpa, does this look weird? It doesn't look weird at all. Now why does it feel so weird? Do you like clothes that are... Don't you like clothes that are that tight? I'm sorry, but that's the creepiest thing I've ever read. Especially considering she's a little girl. Yes, but I have to wear it since I have to look pretty today. Hmm. Little girl, girl, ugh, little girl kept staring in the mirror. All right, when my parents come, <clears throat> come, going to ask them to take me to get me a puzzle toy. A puzzle toy. Yeah, you can bet it. Make any way she asks everyone else, uh, but me. <laughs> All right, they said to come next month, so you can ask them then. The girls touched me for days. I just sat still in the corner of the living room. Sat still in the same place. I don't really like it, but everyone else has it. Oh, it's one of those things. That'd be the sheep. Can't really understand what she's saying, but I could tell that she wants a new toy. And what about me? When is she going to be with me? Mm. The girl looks at my side. Oh, we caught eyes. Will she talk to me? I have a little bit of hope. She didn't play with me for so long, for such a long time. Hurry, right, pick me up. Hurry. Hurry. But the girl soon looked away. It was clearly her expression to her indifference to me. All my hopes melted away immediately. Let's eat, Grandpa! Little girl beamed towards her grandpa. She used to smile that to me like that. <laughs> Stupid chair squeaks. Has she changed? Have I been abandoned already? Now she ever look at me again? Today's diary. Teacher called to me, but the kid beside me. I had no choice but to sit still in the same spot in the living room. I felt like the girl would never look up for me again. I saw the same view every single day and hoped for the little girl to give me her attention. Suddenly I think of when I was at the store, when I spaced out, not waiting or... Not knowing waiting was... wait. Oh, not knowing waiting was waiting. Oh. When I was indifferent to others touching or looking at me. I'm so sorry for my squeaky chair. Am I slowly changing from how I was then? Even when I get thrown away or locked up. When no one can see me. Will I be fine? But. She promised. She promised that we'd be together forever. She said the diary was for the two of us. How long is this going to drone on for? Are you here? No, no, you got dusty. When it came to my senses, her grandpa was holding me and dusting me off. I haven't been held up by someone in such a long time. I looked to my side, but didn't see a new doll that was beside me. Did the little girl put it somewhere else? There was no way to know. The girl's grandpa took me to another place. Hmm, where should I put you? The girl's grandpa is probably putting me somewhere where I can't be seen. I see. You might think that I'm not needed anymore. So you might be trying to throw me away. This place will be good. The grandpa will be on a bookshelf in the library. Bookshelf is where the fairy tale books and the, the books the girl read last year are. I see. Since she doesn't read fairy tale books anymore. As well. I'm not needed anymore too. That's why we're all together. Thank you. He's thanking me? About what? Thank you for helping her get used to this place. Oh, I see. His grandpa used me from the start. So that his granddaughter can like him more. So that his granddaughter can get used to this place more. So that his granddaughter can have something to play with. Does this something or someone? 
use me as he pleased. He's thanking me now, after all that. Just one thank you cannot be enough. One thank you cannot rid of all the disappointment I feel. Is my role done now? Like these fairy tale books by my side? Am I going to be thrown away now? But this grandpa guy must have must be happy since he keeps on smiling. He doesn't even know how much despair I feel and he just and he's just happy to look at his granddaughter's traces. Exploiters. She said I'm her first friend. She said let's be together forever. And this is how they treat me now. And they shouldn't have let me get my hopes up in the first place. In the end, the grandpa and his granddaughter are the bad ones. Exploiters who've used me. I will, I will never forget this. So let me ask you all a question. Do you all feel bad now? <laughs> Don't you just feel this tinge of guilt? Because of all of the stuffed animals, dolls, cabbage packs, kids, brats, Barbies, whatever the fuck you played with when you were a kid, is now just... God knows where. Bet you all feel bad. I know I feel bad. I still have some stuffed animals in my room. I'm gonna go and give them all a hug. I spent nights and days on that shelf. How much time has passed? A couple months? A couple years? I couldn't know. Meanwhile, no one called my name. But I still remember my own name. Grandpa used to just pass me by. Right now, he was just standing in front of me. There was something in his hand. That's... The new doll I saw before. He put the new doll beside me. The very the books in me and the new doll. What a fantastic collection. He wants to display all the things that the girl has thrown away like this. <laughs> I think that maybe everything was an illusion. It was probably an illusion to think that I'm special. The first doll and the first friend. It was all an illusion. The promise to be with each other forever was an illusion. I thought this was going to be shorter. It's actually pretty long. A lot of time passed after the new doll the, the, the. After the new doll came, the little girl, the little girl sometimes passed by the bookshelf I was on. She glimpsed at me, but it was never me she was looking for. Was she still? Is she still writing in her diary? She used to say, "It's her diary for the two of us," but she probably forgot about that now. Yeah, she would have forgotten all about it. Night changed to day, day changed to night, and the girl grew. She got taller, her face got more mature. And Grandpa sometimes came to the library and coughed. It was only him who dusted me from the time to time. It was the only time I could move. And... <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I need a drink. <clears throat> His cough was especially worse today. And... With a thump, he collapsed to the ground. He coughed for a while on the ground, but soon turned quiet. Without a single budge, the girl's grandpa quietly lost his life. The door opened later and I heard the girl scream. I heard a, a scream, deep breath, a sob, wail in the exact order. A few moments later, two men I've never seen before took away the lifeless grandpa's empty shell. The girl blankly stared out the window, and tears fell from her eyes again. After sleeping on the floor, the girl got up and looked through the shelves. She looking for traces of her grandpa, and then she starts to stare at the shelf I'm sitting on. She looks surprised to see the fairy tale books beside me. Oh, she must have realized that her grandpa kept them all along. And the way she made her sad face, and then she started crying again. She looked to the left and caught my eyes. How long has it been since we stared into each other's eyes? A few weeks, a few months, a few years. I don't know. The girl stared at me. This is. Then something amazing happened. She reached out to me. In years. Does she remember me? Does she remember the promise she made me? Does she remember the promise to be with each other forever? And will she call my name again? A million thoughts flashed in my mind at that moment. Remember me again. Pick me up again. I yelled to myself. Right now at this moment. Till her hand touches me. Her hand is so close. Soon as she reaches out a bit more she'll touch me. She chose me. She reached out her hand to me, and not the books or the other dolls. I am your first doll. I am your first toy. She chose me again. I sat, still waiting for you. At the moment, the door opened. The girl stopped, her hand at the same time. It's a, I got your pants! Oh, I'm sorry. This is, a, this is a tense moment. I really shouldn't be making jokes. The girl immediately looked away from me. 
She looked at her mom and ran to her. She ran to her mom's arms. I can't keep. She didn't say anything, but she started sobbing. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. You can't stay here. I'll clean up this place. You'll only get more upset if you see traces of him. Mom, I... So go to the living room first. Your dad's here, too. The girl's mom took her out of the library. The door closed and the room was filled with silence again. I had no choice but to sit still in the spot. If I could, I wanted to cry like she did. If I only could. And then the next day came. Why don't you just tell us your whole life story, buddy? The door opened again. I had hope from yesterday. I hoped that maybe the girl would come and again pick me up. But it wasn't her who came to the library. I should clean everything in here. It'd be best to clean up everything. Except the antique books. <clears throat> She'll only feel more lonely if she comes in here. Her mom brought a huge box into the room and started to put everything in it. As she pleased, she put all the traces of the girl and her grandpa. Crayons and sketchbooks and at the bottom shelf. The plastic machines that were made that made weird sounds. She put all the things that the girl used to play with in one huge box. Soon she reached to the shelf I sat on. Again she put the doll next to me into the box with a single moment of hesitation. And it was my turn next. There was no expectation. There was no special immunity for me. Maybe such a thing never existed in the first place. That thought came into my mind only as I was put into the box. But I still remember the girl definitely tried to pick me up. Amongst all the fairy tale books and the dolls she saw me. And the dolls she saw me and tried to hold me. Anyways, I was put into the box and moved to the room I've never seen before. And I couldn't see the girl again. Time passed and I was locked inside the room of abandoned toys. Alan to Misfit Toys. I waited until the moment she called my name. I thought I'd have to wait inside that place forever. But soon my waiting gradually turned into resentment. Spoilers. Bad people. She shouldn't have let me get my hopes up in the first place. She shouldn't have promised me in the first place. He shouldn't have told me that waiting would be enough. I keep on. I keep on keeping on. Waiting. Even though I hate her this much. Even though I hate waiting this much. Keep on waiting. I hate myself for waiting. I resent myself for waiting. I feel like going crazy for waiting. But I end up waiting. Since the grandpa said that waiting is enough. Since I remember her crying face made me smile when she first saw me. Since I remember. I still. Remember how the little girl was then. I still. Clearly recall the moment she gave me hope. God damn that scared me. <laughs> and I met him. The man called the wizard. And then it started. This hopeful game. And the game ended. Giving me a whole life story, boy! Not by me, by the other dolls. The villain was me. The hero was them. I'm just a scared teddy bear. I can't do anything but wait. Let's admit it. I'm not pretty like them. I'm not a cool doll. All I have to put up is that I was the first. You sad little shit. Now do I just have to give you up? I hate... Uh, I have to end it here. I'm getting very, very tired, and it's been going on forever, and I don't want this episode to go on too long. But hey, there's gonna be another part to this! That's so cool! I will see you guys next time, and just, like, watch this be the very, very ending. Who knows? I'll see you guys next time, though. Pick up.